This is a very serious Bitcoin update. We are about to see something in these markets that will test us and stretch us to the utmost limit of our resolve. August saw Bitcoin break down from this rising wedge pattern, which is a very bearish pattern. And we can see the target of this pattern to the downside is around $16,000. Not only did we break down from this rising wedge, but if we take a look at the chart here, we can see that we came up to a massive support resistance flip. What was our support all the way back in January 2021 was then flipped into resistance in May 2022. And then we tried to break through this and we were unable and we've gotten the rejection. Now, this rejection is happening in conjunction with a very significant signal on Market Cipher B, none other than the dreaded bald headed Gary Gensler Market Cipher B pattern. As the price is getting higher into that multi year support resistance flip, Gary Gensler's bald head is getting more gray and lower, and the smile is becoming more and more photoshopped. An extremely bearish signal. We have not seen a bearish divergence here on the weekly time frame since we go back to November 2021 when Bitcoin hit that all-time high. Now, a huge shout out to the Casper Crew VIP Discord because we took this short trade literally from the exact top. The setup was given in advance in the Discord. And as you can see, that trade is now in juicy profits. And as you can also see, I've got some pretty low targets. But Jason, yesterday you made a bullish video and now you're bearish. Hold your horses there, Karen. Let's talk about this. Price never moves straight up, nor does it ever move straight down. On the way down, look at this. We come down a lot, up a little, down a lot, up a little, down a lot. And then we start to get a little bit of a reversal. And when we get the reversal, we come up a lot, down a little, up a lot, down a little, up a lot. Now we're starting to get another little bit of a reversal. What does this mean? Within every downtrend, we have smaller uptrends. And within every uptrend, we have smaller downtrends. This is the weekly time frame. If we've been trading Bitcoin during this six week period, we would say we're in a downtrend. But if we zoom out, we can see that we are indeed in an uptrend. So we need to have a long term bias, a medium term bias, and a short term bias. Now, for me, I am long term extremely bullish on Bitcoin for the next few years. But in the medium term, I am now leaning very bearish for the following reasons. Now, we've already discussed the dreaded bald headed Gary Gensler market cipher B pattern on the weekly, but I'm going to go up to the monthly time frame. And there's a few things that I want you to notice here. First of all, every single time we print the big green dot on market cipher B below that zero line, it does mark the bottom of the four year Bitcoin cycle bear market. However, after that green dot prints, we inevitably will print a red dot on market cipher B. I'm going to go ahead and mark out these red dots on market cipher B because we are currently printing about to confirm one in 25 days right over here. Now, what do these red dots mean? These red dots mean that we are about to get a retracement, a pretty big retracement after the bottom is already put in. We go back to the year 2015 and we actually got a 49% move to the downside once that red dot began to print. We come over here to 2019 and you can see that we ended up with a 68% move to the downside initiated by that red dot. Now here we are again in 2023 printing this red dot, all right? Now we had a 69% move to the downside back in the last cycle. If we get another 69% move to the downside, that'll actually bring us down to a $9,000 Bitcoin. Am I saying we're coming to 9,000? No, but what I am saying is that historically speaking, we have the macro bottom signal right here, and then we have that big retracement signal right here. We also know that the retracement gives us a big capitulation dump before the next massive rally. So we can look at the chart, look at the historical data and say, based on everything I see here, I am bullish because the bottom signal of the four year cycle has already confirmed, but medium term, we've got that big retracement signal coming up on the monthly time frame. And objectively speaking, we are printing a bearish pattern on the chart as we are coming up to a massive support resistance level going all the way back to 2020. Now, I want to take a look at the dollar and how it correlates to Bitcoin, specifically where we are in the current market cycle. Now, if we go back two cycles ago to 2015, 2016, we can see that the Bitcoin price actually bottoms out right around here 
right around the the end of 2015, let's just say, after the dollar has a massive move to the upside and Bitcoin has a big correction to the downside. Then Bitcoin gets a relief rally as the dollar gets another move to the downside. Then we see the dollar put in another last hurrah higher high. And on market cipher B, we see the momentum waves and the money flow on the dollar getting lower, right? The dollar makes one last massive move to the upside while the money flow gets lower, while the momentum waves get lower. And guess what? When we get to the top of the dollar's last hurrah, this is basically when Bitcoin enters into the massive rally beginning in 2017, culminating in 2018. We take a look at Bitcoin back in 2017 when the dollar got its last hurrah. We see this big, massive candle on the monthly time frame leading us into the bull market. Right. And then when we get to the next cycle, we can see a very similar thing. Right. Bitcoin is tanking. Right. Tanking. And then finally, the dollar, once again, gets a last hurrah with the bearish divergence. And boom, this starts off the massive rally that began right here in the spring of 2020. Now, once again, we are seeing something very similar happen. We're coming up to the halving, just like we were back here, just like we were back here, just like we currently are right now. This white line represents the halving. Also on this dollar chart, the white lines represent the halving. The dollar is looking quite bullish locally as we are getting a triple drive of bullish divergence on the weekly. This could probably give us a big pump to the upside. Now, when we get that big pump, if we extrapolate what market cipher B is going to look like, we're once again going to see the bearish divergence with the momentum waves and the money flow leading right up into that time of the halving in spring 2024. OK, so I'm expecting something like this to basically happen with the dollar. We break out of this little triangle pendant thing. We put in a higher high with a bearish divergence. And then I believe something is going to happen that will change the trajectory, the trajectory of the dollar. And we are going to see Bitcoin do something like this. Bam. And then put in a new all time high and the pattern will repeat. Now, the question becomes, how low is Bitcoin going to come here? We cannot know that for certain because I believe it depends on many things in the world, in the economy. But at the very least, it would not surprise me if we come back down to test the yearly open, which is around $16,600. If you go back and back test yearly opens for Bitcoin, I can't, I, I don't, I don't know offhand, but I'm pretty sure there's never a time where we don't come and back test that yearly open right back here in January, 2023, we got the yearly open. We usually come back to back test that. So at least the move down to here is something that I am looking for. Now, of course, this is also something that we need to take level to level right now on Coinbase. If we go to the weekly chart, we can see that Bitcoin is right now about to come down to a very, very key zone, which is basically a change of market structure on the weekly. This entire time since November 2022, we've making highs, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. We're about to make our first lower low if we print a candle and close it below 24602. If we close that candle below 24602 on the Coinbase chart, this is officially now a lower low, officially flipping a local uptrend into a downtrend on the weekly time frame, in which case we can look for price to eventually get a move back down to here in the next year or so leading up until that time when the Bitcoin halving occurs. So once again, medium term right now, I am bearish looking for more of a retracement here. But in the long term, I am bullish. Now, in the short term, as you know, I'm a trader. I trade. I long and short. I look for entries. There's so much volatility that can be traded on the lower time frames. And if you're looking for a great exchange to trade on, I highly recommend MEXC. 0% limit order fees, 0.01% market order fees, the best deal you can possibly get out there. Also, if you want to learn how to trade this way, check out the courses, jasoncaspertrading.com. We just had White Phoenix, a member of the Casper crew, one of our instructors, release his smart money approach to trading. I highly recommend you check this out. 
if you are struggling as a trader because he has literally put years of experience in 80 plus videos to create one of the best courses I've ever seen in my life. And it's great for people who don't have time to sit there at the charts all day long. JasonCasperTrading.com. Also, guys, if you want to join the Casper crew where we give these juicy trade setups in advance, like the short from the top on Bitcoin, you can go ahead, click the link to join the community where we do live streams, we post our setups, a whole bunch of great traders in there. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you share my medium-term bias and my long-term bias, or are you long-term bearish? Let me know in the comments down below. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus, Yeshua the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.